Hello and welcome to Naivety Gaming. I am your host Matt, and this is the 20th week of Cheap Weekly Thrills. For those who don't know, Cheap Weekly Thrills is where I browse Steam for a brand new game that's been released in the past week that is for a purchasing price of $5 or less. So this is the week of... How did I want to put this? February 13th. Today's Tuesday. Um, I have no idea where I'm going, but what I do know is that this week's game is called Lost in Space. Lost in Space is a minimalistic sci-fi running game with lots of achievements. Uh, the developer and publisher is Day by Day Studio, and uh, when they say lots of achievements, they are not kidding. They say that there are 5,000 achievements in this game, which, oh my goodness, that's a lot. Um, so this game is at uh, 99 cents. It is unfortunately not on sale. However, if you do get the day by day studio pack which includes all three of the games that they have released you can get it at a sounding 30 percent off for three dollars and 49 cents instead of 99 cents um all right so generally this game about the game humanity humanity has run out of resources over the last hundred years now we are searching for a new planet to make it our home. Thousands of drones were sent to the newly discovered planets. Uh, Athar 43L, also called the Blue Planet, Blue Planet by scientists, is one of them. Lost in Space is a minimalistic runner game in which you navigate a drone E340 E64, excuse me, sent to discover a new planet. Um it's an atmosphere of peace, relaxing background music, and like I said, there's over 5,000 achievements. So, um, or 499, I'm assuming the 5,000 is collecting 5,000 achievements. Um, look at that, it's got uh, all these different uh, language uh, supports, which is very nice to see. 27 of them. Uh, single player, save achievements, you know, that kind of fun stuff. So, I'm going to give this a quick little test, and if uh, it all goes well, you'll see the gameplay, otherwise I'll choose another game. So, we'll see you guys in just a moment. Hello and welcome to Lost in Space, the minimalistic run game where you fly around as a drone exploring a brand new planet. So let's uh, jump on into it. Your uh, controls are uh, WASD, and uh, took me a moment there to find the controls. Um, so this game is one of those games where you're just kind of mindlessly watching a YouTube video, uh, texting your friends, doing whatever, and you're just kind of just listening to the peaceful music in the background, and you're just basically using muscle reaction to this kind of point of time. Um, so as they said, there's 5,000 Steam achievements. I wasn't even close to that asteroid, so that's a little bit dumb. Um, there are 5,000 Steam achievements, um, and each one of these little rings is a new achievement. Um, I actually had to disable the Steam overlay, because every time I had run into a new area explored, it would uh, pop up a brand new achievement and cover up like the entire right hand side of the screen. Um, so that got pretty annoying pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, as it's a dollar, I mean it's fairly cheap and if you're just looking for something to... Like I was saying, just mindlessly play in the background, get some Steam achievements, you know, listen to some pretty good music. Um, I'd pretty much recommend this, but, um, my only critique is that from the screenshots and seeing other people play this, 
in since I've been playing this for a little while. Um, it'd be nice to have some sort of some sort of you know additional mechanic like you could either fire some lasers into the asteroids or you can like have a point system where you're trying to beat a certain high score I mean technically they've got that with the areas explored uh, so I think that's I mean that's okay but maybe a maybe a change of uh, scenery if not like a color hue change where instead of this kind of smoky grayish white fog where it changed into I don't know like a more like you could see different sceneries per se um, they might have that if you get to um, area 100 oh, 200 300 I'm not sure um, but by the screenshots that I've seen on the store page it looks pretty much exactly like this um, so again, too, this isn't a game that's meant to be um, mentally stimulating. It's quite frankly the opposite, where you just kind of need a... You've had a long day at work, you've had a long day at school, you just need to chill out, you know, settle down. You need something to relax with. Um, obviously, I'm not doing great right now. My high score, I believe, was 36 if I saw that correctly. Um, but, I can, looking around, I can kind of notice uh, how they had, kind of going off of a note that I made mention earlier, um, I can kind of notice how they were able to get 27 supported languages, um, because all the language that they had was areas explored, shuttle speed, main menu continue, play settings, and within the settings was um, in-game music and volume, um, and language. <laughs> so, it's, uh, I'm glad that they imported that support, because if they didn't, I'd be a little bit, I'd be questioning their motives. It's like, guys, you have literally the total of ten words <laughs> in this entire, uh, game, so. But anywho, like I said, this is uh, quite a fun little relaxing game if you're one of those type of people who um, want to beat their last high score, which, um, depending on the mood, I sometimes can't be. Um, the other thing that I want to make mention too is some of these asteroids are a little bit... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Some of the asteroids can be a little bit misleading. Um, some of them sometimes look like that they're a little bit farther away. Um, sometimes some of them look a little bit closer than others. I think they're all on the same plane of uh, depth. So if you get near an asteroid, it's most likely that you're not going to be going over it or under it. It's a 99% chance that you're just going to fly straight into it and as we we're making note earlier some of these asteroids don't have a great um, pathing to them or hitbox I'm not a game developer so I don't know the exact terminology but basically some of them you can actually pass pretty close to them and other times some of the larger ones you have to be quite a ways away yeah as you saw there, I was actually under one of them, and then on the same field, I was right into them, so. But I should say, it's quite a nice looking game. I'm very glad that it's in a nice 60 frames per second, because it is quite smooth, and it is very, very, very appealing. Um, again, as I've always said in the past, I need to get a new game capture where I can actually capture and edit. Uh, 60 frames a second game footage, so. Anyway, I think I've made my point. So, that was a little gameplay of Lost in Space. 
If you've liked this content, make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, we genuinely appreciate any brand new subscribers coming into our community. It would be a great addition. We'd love to have you guys around. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you know where to comment. Um, but also, similarly, if you've picked up this game and you want to gloat about a new high score that you set, or if you uh, picked up some other games that for $5 or less that you'd like me to know about, again, the comment section down below is to communicate with us. We'd love to be able to see what you guys have to say. Also, I'd like to make mention before I take off that just yesterday we announced a brand new Patreon page. So for as little as $1 a month, you can gain access to exclusive content that we won't necessarily post public to our YouTube channel. Um, you'll be able to gain access to exclusive uh, discussions, polls, um, and generally being able to have uh, some more personal discussions about some more behind the scenes related stuff. Um, so if you guys would be willing to check that out, that would be amazing. We'd love to see if we can get some Patri... What do they call them? Patreons? Patreon users? Subscribers? Pledgers? I don't know what they want to call them, what their specific uh, noun for Patreon users are. But again, if you want to check that out, we'd be greatly appreciated. We'd love to see if we can get some more uh, people involved with our community. So, that was the 20th week of Cheap Weekly Thrills. I'm your host, Matt, and we'll see you guys next week. So, take care now.